Oh, shucks. Um, I don't really get too many like awful weird reactions when I mention it because I kind of like gauge whether or not to talk about it off of the person anyways. You're a fucking prostitute. Mostly people just like when they find out, they just ask you a bajillion questions, um, which is fine. But I've never had anybody be like an asshole about it. A uh, no longer friend of mine did not want uh, me to come to um, their, their children's birthday party because of it. Um, which I thought was weird, and I know that sometimes people make the assumption that people who are in pornography are a danger to children, um, but we all work with adults here. Um, we're all adults consenting, um, and I think we've all kind of made that choice to work with adults. Um, and I think oftentimes when you hear about people being a danger to children, they tend to be in places where people, where the children are. Um, we hear that all the time with like teachers, priests, um, a lot of people we put trust into that um, take advantage of that trust. I was disowned. Oh, um, they thought that maybe I was um, forced into it or <laughs> that I had a suitcase pimp for a husband. And I and this is actually a family member, so I had to explain to them that it's not like that. I really haven't gotten a bad reaction. Um, yeah, on, <laughs> I really haven't gotten any bad reactions. I know that there's negative energy out there that is not supportive of our community. I have yet to really, truly interact with it. But I'm also, I'm really, really, really positive about the industry. And I'm not like upfront, like, oh my God, I'm a porn star. You know, I, this is my job, it's part of what I do, but I feel like I'm pretty normal and I think the people that interact with me can see that. Most of the time people don't think I'm serious. I'm not your uh, typical everyday uh, looking porn star. You know, um, generally speaking, I'm a tomboy too. When I'm at home, I don't wear makeup. You know, I like to say my, my hobbies are cooking, cleaning, and picking up dog poop. Um, I'm, I'm pretty normal, but uh, the strangest reaction is, has pretty much been that people don't believe me. And then I have to sit there and spend time convincing them to the point where I'm like, no, here's my naked photo on the internet. <laughs> I promise, this is what I do. And then at that point, they're a little more or less just shocked. <laughs> I had a guy once that recognized me from doing porn and threw like a rack of napkins on me and called me a whore in a bar. I don't know, maybe I'm very terrifying and people don't really tell me the truth what they think when I'm telling them what I do. But uh, I remember one situation was on a reality show in Austria and there was there was like, you know, they always try to create drama in the reality shows because people live from fist fights and all this kind of thing. Uh, like, no, it was not a reality, it was kind of like a talk show where it's like a bunch of people there and, the, and then on purpose they, they brought in a priest, you know, and, and like the priest started cursing at me and about the industry and stuff like that and, and all this kind of stuff and I'm like, he's a priest, what is he talking about, you know? He, he should be the one saying that in front of God we are all the same, you know, because that's what it's standing for. And, and I just told him that and he didn't like me after because he had nothing else to say. It was when one of my best friends from middle school, she just was disgusted. You eat pussy for a living, like, okay, I guess so. <laughs>